Hello and welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to look at something called Unwind Protect, which is a really handy special form for certain kinds of situations. So what we've got over here, if I was on the right machine, my favorite mistake, um, is we have a bunch of functions. We have something that will, that we're going to, this is like stubbing everything else. You would have real things here, but we're going to have this function that pretends to open a connection. So we're opening connection to some super secret base. And then we're going to download secrets, which are going to contain terrible truths. So this function takes a connection and then would normally, obviously, contact the other end of the connection using that thing and download some data. So maybe this is to a website or some, some other service. And it's going to return whatever that service provides. And then we have this thing for closing a connection. Um, which at the moment just logs that it's closing the connection and then returns nil. So how would we use this? A nice simple way we would say we define a variable called com and we'll open the connection. And inside here uh, we're going to print whatever we uh, download from this connection. So we're going to pass in con here. And at the end, because we don't want to leave open connections out to the outside world, um, we want to close the connection again. We pass in con. Um, what have I got down here? Undefined function download secrets. I haven't compiled this. Okay. So let's compile this again. And now if we run heavy stuff, um, we will see that it printed terrible truths and then it was saying it's closing the super interesting connection. Um, I'm just going to change this here to have a new line, so this is a bit easier to read. Okay, now this is on a, a new line. So we've opened, we've downloaded something from the connection, and we've closed the connection. That's all well and good. But let's say that while you're downloading, something goes wrong. We get an error. Um, and what's going to happen now? We run this function. We see that we get the error. Oh, no. We say abort. The evaluation's been aborted and the close connection was never called. So your system is now in a bit of a bad state. You've got this open connection to this other service and that isn't what you wanted. You always wanted to clean that stuff up. And this is where Unwind Protect is going to come in to help us out. Now it's a special form, so it has um, non-standard evaluation rules. Uh, we can use Unwind Protect and then wrap it around. Now, if we look at the signature, we see that the first form inside it is the thing that is protected. And then everything else after the body is clean up. So I'm actually going to print here, oops, cleaning up. Compile this again. And we're going to take out the error first. So we just get the terrible truths. Let's run our heavy stuff. And so we can see that the function started, we got our connection, we downloaded the terrible truths, we printed them out, and then it printed cleaning up, and then it closed the connection. Now let's look at what happens this time um, when we reintroduce that error. We run heavy stuff, we abort, and we still get cleaning up and closing super interesting connections. So even though we got that error, we were protected by this so that when um, the stack unwound, when we aborted, um, or if you're using other handlers, which I'm not going to go into this episode, if you're, you're using the kind of error handling or signal handling methods, um, and you transition to another part of your program, it will guarantee that this is always called before you leave uh, the scope of this form here. So this is the thing that's going to get run with protection, and this this may fail but this is always going to get run. Now, Unwind Protect only takes a single form. Um, so if you want to do multiple things within the Unwind Protect, uh, you're going to need a problem. So you can just do this and say, um, print starting business. And then, oops, success. Oh, we've still got our error. So we can see we got to starting business, ran, and then this threw an exception, so we never got here. But again, cleaning up and closed connection still got run. Um, let's go and remove that error so we can see a successful run. 
and we get starting business we get the terrible truths we get our success and then cleaning up and closing connection so that's pretty much all you need to know to get started with unwind protect um, of course the understanding what's happening with the errors and how errors are handled in lisp is something you will want to get into but that's for another video so i will see you folks in another one ciao